hybrid. So in the purest sense, a lot of people talk about hybrid. What is hybrid? What does it mean? I mean, how do you apply it? How do you contextualize it to your work? I want to just start with this framework and I build on it. So you will see on the y-axis I put place. Think about it as space. So your place can be constrained or unconstrained. So think about the axis being fully unconstrained or fully constrained. And the x-axis is time. So think about time as being constrained and unconstrained. So a traditional work model was this 9 to 5, I mean, depending on the time zone you work in. But this was basically a traditional office. You know, you work for certain hours. It was a constrained time in a constrained place. But if you could work anywhere, so your space became unconstrained, but you still work the same hours. So even before pandemic, you had certain work from home roles. You could work remotely, um, you know, that kind of role which you can do from anywhere. So that gave you, uh, you know, flexibility on the space dimension. And then you could have this time of, uh, time dimension that you needed to work in office, but you could work anytime. So it might be because the systems you use in office, data security, privacy, you needed to get into office. But typically in our shared services, to optimize fleet of cabs or to optimize electricity, etc., you still put a time dimension around it. And a true hybrid is really, you can work anywhere anytime. So there is three, four things I want to talk about. One is real-time work versus inventory-based work. And you can call it anytime. So in my definition, real-time is if you do customer support, uh, uh, maybe in contact, you know, contact centers or chats, etc. You need to be there. If you do work which is related to, let's say, financial markets, markets open at a certain time, you need to do that work a certain time. And inventory-based work is work you can do basically within a time limit, in a day's time, or in two days' time, or a week's time. So that is one way to think about work. The other way to think about work is synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous work is when you need two, three, four teams to work together. Like they just have, like, you know, if you have a level one help desk, then you know that you need the level two guy. If the level one ticket cannot be resolved, you need to move to level two, or the level two ticket cannot be resolved, you need to move to level three. You think about maker checker arrangements, the making team and the checking team kind of need to work together. And then there's asynchronous work. So if you do editorial work, you know, you do a proofread of a copy, you send it to the designer. The designer can do it in their own time, or if you're doing some kind of, you know, underwriting work, which really doesn't require the lead underwriter to review the paperwork on a real time. So there is the whole synchronous asynchronous dimension, and then there is a line based and a project based kind of work. So we typically talk about in our shared services, we have this repetitive work. I mean, think about anything in voice processing, claims, disputes, uh, chargeback, settlement. Um, you know, all that kind of work is more line-based work. And then you might be doing project-based work. You know, there are project managers that manage complex projects across the globe, sitting out of India. These typically tend to be like individual contributor roles who are working with. And finally, you have uh, teamwork versus individual contribution, which is, I think, you know, kind of explains itself. So it gets really complicated. So when you think about hybrid, you have this framework on the right, and you have these different ways or different kinds of jobs that happen in your shared service. So today